In this video, you will learn about the UI View Listener, how to use it, and how it works. Let's get started. To add the UI View Listener to your scene, just go to hierarchy, right click, do Z, Listeners, UI View Listener and a UI view listener will be added to your scene, but it won't work because it's not set to listen for any UI views. You can listen for all UI views when they get shown hidden or when they start their loop animation, or you can listen for a specific UI view. In this case, for my category, main menu. So I'm gonna create a UI view so we can listen to it. All right. And now I need to add a show view animation and I'm going to select a preset and a hide view animation. Again, I'm going to select a preset and load it. And I'm going to set the name, my category, main menu. So my category and main menu. Let's also rename it. The UI view listener has a debug mode, which we'll use right now. So we can see in the console how it works and also an option to listen for UI views or you can say to listen for a specific UI view. When it gets triggered, it triggers this uh, Unity event and you can uh, trigger whatever methods you need. So let's press play. And right now it's set to listen for my category main menu, exactly the name of this UI view that I've just created. Before we continue, please note in the console that the UI view listener said that it started listening for UI view actions. If the game object that the UI view listener is attached to gets disabled, it will notify you that it stopped listening for UI view actions. So I'm going to disable it. And there you go. It says stop listening for UI view actions. Let's clear this, re-enable the listener. And now, as you can see, it uh, listens for the show event of this particular UI view. I'm going to hide it. And now when I'll show it, you will see in the console that the UI view listener has been triggered. So show, there you go. It has been triggered. What if I change the name of this UI view to quit? If I hide it and I show again, the UI view listener doesn't work. In order for it to work, I can either set it to listen for the quit menu and let's check it out, hide and show, and now it will work. Or I can set it to listen for any UI views that are shown. Of course, this is a bit too much, but it will work. So show, it will work. And even if I change the name, let me clear this so you can see it appears right away. Show and it works. And that's it. You can even uh, listen for when a UI view is hidden. So when the hide when the quit menu is hidden, that belongs to the my category view category name. Well, then this UI view listener will get triggered. So now I have it set to the main menu. It will not work. But if I set it to quit menu, if I change its name, it will work. And that's it. It just listens for UI views when they get shown or hidden. And uh, yeah, it triggers your uh, particular Unity events or your methods or whatever you need. Okay, that's it for the UI view listener. Have a great day.